Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we're going to do another one from Hardywood Park Craft Brewery. Uh, we did their uh, gingerbread stout yesterday. We're going to do their Christmas pancakes today. Uh, this beer, uh, of course, uh, Hardywood is up in, uh, in Richmond, I think. Uh, yep, Richmond, Virginia. Uh, we just their beer just came available here not long ago, guys. Uh, they didn't have a very big distribution, and now they're showing up here. But they don't hang around long. Uh, they go pretty quick. Uh, and they do some tasty beers, guys. They really do. Uh, this one is a 9.2 percenter, and yesterday's beer, the date had been smudged off. You couldn't read the date on it. It was black ink on a dark brown bottle. Couldn't see it with the beer in there, and I... I can't see it with the beer in it now. So we'll take a closer look and see if we can read any kind of dating on this one. I know it's a fresh beer. It just showed up at the Kroger store. Uh, and we picked it up. And uh, we picked up the uh, gingerbread. And we picked up this one, the pancake. And we picked up some uh, barrel-aged gingerbread. Uh, and it's all gone now. I mean, within three days, all of it disappeared. I mean, it doesn't hang around long. These guys make some tasty beers. And that's why it doesn't hang around long. And on a side note there, today, guys, I uh, just found out that uh, New Belgium beers have sold out. So uh, all this is supposed to happen between now and the end of the year. Uh, they will no longer be considered a craft beer brewery because they sold out to a uh, lion out of uh, Australia, which is owned by... Uh, company out of Japan which uses the Kirin uh, beer so uh, they sold out to big alcohol so uh, uh, I had Mr. Fudge send me a message saying if I was going to buy them anymore and I'm not I'm not I don't support these people that sell out to the big the big breweries so uh, still have a couple more of their beers in here and I will find something else to purchase I'm not going to purchase anything else from New Belgium so I will have to find another go-to beer, guys. So it's sad all these big beer companies are coming in with wads or handfuls of cash and these craft beer breweries are selling out. So the craft beer industry is under attack, guys. It really is. So I'm not going to support the ones that sell out. I'm sorry. And all of you, you know, there's a lot of people disagree with that. They make great beers, especially with what's going on uh, with the... Uh, uh, founders and, and, and other breweries that have sold out, uh, Goose Island, and, and a lot of others. I mean, uh, big wads of cash will make you change your mind. Uh, I mean, it makes me change my mind whether I'm going to spend my money on them anymore. I support the craft beer industry and the smaller independent. And once you sell out, you're done in my house. So, it's sad, another sad day for us, uh, especially people. Uh, I'm a big fan of their uh, Imperial version of their Voodoo Ranger, and uh, I'm going to find something else to drink, guys. And I'm, they're not going to get another dime from me. I'm not going to support them. So, sad day in the craft beer world. And today is uh, November the 19th. So, and all this is supposed to happen with them by the end of the year for an employee owned craft beer industry for one person just to be able to say yeah we're going to sell it all out seemed like the employees would have some to say so on that but evidently not so uh, feel sorry for all the people that work there but I'm not buying them anymore so let's get on with this let's jump over to untapped and see what they say they do have of course beer advocate clumps them all together and untapped has the 2019 edition listed separately 
9.2%. We don't have the IBUs. Just takes our classic gingerbread stout and adds local maple syrup. It's received an outstanding rating from BeerAdvocate.com. Yeah, well, everything does a lot of times from those guys. Uh, the guys over at Untapped are more reliable and have better information, guys. So, with that being said, uh, I've not had this one before. I've had the gingerbread before. Uh, so let's see what the Christmas pancakes brings to the table. A big 500 milliliter bottle. Nice hiss, a little bit of smoke. And into the glass we go here, guys. I'm going to pour this straight down the center here. Looks to be decently carbonated. We're going to generate at least a finger or so of head on this, pouring it down the center. Look at that. Good looking beer. It really is uh, two plus fingers of head. Good looking beer. Look at that. A very nice looking beer. Uh, all white uh, khaki colored head on that. Very dark beer. Very dark. A great looking beer. And I enjoyed the, uh, the GBS from these guys, the gingerbread stout. And I have a bourbon barrel version in there to do too. Got a feeling that's going to be a little taster, a little more ABV, and maybe a little bourbon notes, which I am a fan of. I don't drink bourbon anymore, but I do like a bourbon barrel version of a stout. To the nose we go. Wow, the maple syrup is off the chain, guys. Big time maple syrup. Big time sweetness. Wow. Wow. The maple syrup is super impressive on this beer. Roasted malt, maybe a hint of some uh, bittersweet chocolate in there. But the maple syrup is off the chain. I mean, unbelievable. I mean, that smells just like pancakes with maple syrup covering it all up. Wow, awesome aromas as far as maple syrup goes. They've nailed that part of it very damn well. Smells awesome. Should be very nice and sweet and tasty. Let's find out. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. This would go well with a big stack of pancakes. Yeah, it would. Very easy drinking. Uh, Alcohol is well hidden for a 9.2 percenter. And the maple syrup. Brings on the impression of pancakes. They've nailed it. They really have. I'm hoping I can find some kind of vinegar dating that hadn't been smudged off and I can see that. But you can't see that a lot of times. Uh, especially if the beer is refrigerated when you buy it. Uh, sometimes if it's not, you can make out what that dating is. But uh, it needs to be on the label. Guys. They, can, they can put a spot on there and have their dating machine date that in a little white box and use the same label over and over and over again if they want to. But stamping a dark black ink on a dark brown bottle with a very black beer in it, it's hard to see. So, it's what it is though, isn't it? Well, a great breakfast beer for the weekend if you're having pancakes. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't recommend having a 9.2% beer before you go to work. I think your employer may frown on that just a little bit. But uh, I'm sure the police would frown on that very, very much so. Uh, but yeah, not a lot of road checks out at 6, 7 in the morning uh, when everybody's going to work. So you might get away with it, but I wouldn't recommend it. You wouldn't have an accident and hurt anybody, especially any innocent children or anything like that. That would weigh very heavily on you. So there's my PSA, public service announcement. Uh, drink responsibly, guys. Uh, don't drink a 9, 10, 11 percent beer for breakfast if you're going to drive somewhere or go to work. Wouldn't be a smart thing to do. So we're going to sip on this for a little bit. I'm going to get the back end core in there if I can. It is a sad day, and I had some bad news. A friend of mine just got leukemia and was just given less than two weeks to live. So it's been a very sad day for this guy. So uh, 
been a good friend of mine for a long, long time, more than 30 years or so. Rides motorcycles with me, and uh, it doesn't look like he's going to be long for this world. And uh, Jr., uh, we're going to miss you, my friend. Uh, uh, I hate it, uh, but life goes on, and uh, I'm sorry uh, uh, this has happened to you, my friend, my brother. So, with that being said, we're going to sip on this one, guys, and we're going to uh, come back and give it a grade. That's right. That's what we're going to do. It's what we do here. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping out for a little bit. Nice slicing. I slept on the glass. Very tasty beer, especially if you're into the maple syrup versions of stouts. This one is off the chain. The other half absolutely loved it. Uh, would go good with a big stack of pancakes with bacon or sausage or something with it. Very nice, tasty beer. A good breakfast beer if you're having pancakes and, and uh, all that. You don't have to drive anywhere or go to work or anything like that. I wouldn't recommend drinking a 9.2% beer and then going to work or driving anywhere. Uh, that may get you into some trouble. Uh, so, as far as I'm concerned, and I looked at the bottle and I come back, and the date is written in dark black ink on a dark brown bottle with a black beer in it. Very hard to see with the beer in the bottle, especially if it's been refrigerated. Uh, this one has... 10-22 of 19, October 22nd, and today is 11-19, so not quite a month old in the bottle, very tasty beer, guys. It is a very exceptional beer. Uh, it's not world class to me. Uh, you may disagree with that uh, assumption. Uh, it is pr pretty damn tasty. I wish they would put that date somewhere on the label on a, on a bright yellow box somewhere. Or they could stamp that date on it instead of stamping it on the bottle. Uh, but it is what it is. I have no control over that, guys. Uh, very hard to see with the beer still in the bottle. We're going to leave it at that. Very tasty beer. A great final beer of the evening, which it is for me. And we still have one more of the Hardywood uh, Bourbon Barrel versions of their gingerbread stout to do. And we're going to do that pretty quick, too. Uh, the maple syrup is just off the chain, guys. I mean, it's it's unbelievable how much maple syrup is in the aroma and taste on this beer. My wife could smell it, and she could taste it, and she was very impressed with it, as well as I am, too. Wow. Awesome aroma. Absolutely outstanding aroma. The maple syrup is just... Mm, 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 mm. It's there. Final show. A very delicious beer, guys. Uh, this is very impressive to me. I do like that nice, sweet maple syrup taste to the beer. Makes it very easy drinking. Please be aware if you're drinking this out in a bar or a brew pub and they have it on tap, that you're drinking a 9.2% beer. Uh, please have a designated driver, especially if you're drinking this and you think, oh, I'm macho man and I can drive. Uh, not so much. So, to me, guys, I'm not going to take anything with my hardy wood, even though I'm not impressed with how they date their stuff. I think it ought to be on the label, but they are dating it. I mean, it's there. And it's not a best before, best used by, or best whatever date. It's an actual bottled on date. So, uh, it's there. So, they're, they're, they're trying. I wish they would do something a little different. Put it on the label somewhere in a, in a, a big white box or something where that they want to use these labels year after year after year. They can just stamp it on the on, on the label somewhere. But that's just my opinion. And, uh, and opinions are like assholes. Uh, some people have one. Some people have more than that. <laughs> so uh, with that being said, it's a very tasty beer, guys. Uh, 9 out of 10 to me, guys. I'm going to give it a 95 right down the middle of the A category. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 92 outstanding. I'm giving it a better grade than that because I can see that I can read the date on this now that the beer is out of it. Uh, but I, I wanna, I'd like to see them do something different there. Over to Untapped, uh, they have the 2019 edition listed. 
uh, where Beer Advocate puts them all in the same category, no matter what batch or ABV it is, they put they clump them all together. Untapped has a 2019 listing, uh, and they give it a 4.21, and that's their borderline between an A minus and an A beer. Uh, I'm giving it the, the benefit of the doubt. A uh, very enjoyable beer. I did enjoy this. I would buy this beer again. Uh, the date is on it. The ABV is on it. There's no IBUs available. You may be able to get that information if you go to the website, which I never do. Uh, it's tasty. It is tasty beer, guys. Uh, and if you've had the 2019 edition of the Christmas Pancakes from Hardywood Park uh, Craft Brewery, let me know what you think. It's a very impressive beer, guys. It is very... I think I might like this one a little bit better than just a regular gingerbread stout because of as m so much of the maple syrup is in the aroma and taste. Uh, very, very pleasant beer to drink. If you say, oh my God, that's a thin beer, you're crazy. I won't argue with that one. I owe to guys. It is a very tasty beer. So if you can get your hands on it, pick one of them up if you like this style of beer because I think you like this. I did. So, with that being said, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.